All right, we're talking shaved ice here. We're with Stephanie Severson from Hokalia. <laughs> and uh, we got some good shaved ice going on, and it's a, it's a warm day. It's been a very, very warm day for us. <laughs> and this is big business for you because you said you started this business with your husband in college. So how did you start your first one? Well, I was 22 years old, and we had traveled many times to Kona. We both have homes there in the Big Island. Yeah. And um, we fell in love with the shaved ice out there, wanted to bring back some island love here. And um, we had my little brother to support, and so we opened up Shave Ice and we've been able to support him through college and have fun doing it. <laughs> and you use local products, right? We do use local products. We use uh, local ice cream. We have macadamia nut, coconut, and oh. vanilla ice cream. It's Ooh, fantastic. Yummy. Are we and getting some made for us? Oh, America? yeah, they're making Chris some Chris is like, listen, right I want to learn if I come out here. Yeah, if I'm going to be interviewed, yeah, get some out here. So how many locations do you have? We have. We first started with Provo, and we had that one for five years. And this year we expanded, and we have eight open, and soon to be 15 this year. So hopefully by the end of this month, we'll have 15. Nice. So what do you think the secret to your success is? Because I don't think most people who start a little business in college, it turns into a full-time career and how many locations? You yeah. better be ready to work hard. That is the main thing that you have to know, that you have to work hard, that customer service is huge, and that you never skimp on a product. You always have to make sure you have the highest quality products and have the best customer service and best employees. Nice. Perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. Sounds awesome. good. And I know we're going to get a sample here real soon. They'll be waiting. You yeah. wait for years. We'll talk about what's coming up. So coming up.